Hello, and welcome back to a Swift Look, a Taylor Swift show. I'm Zoe Jewell. Let's get into today's show. Wait, actually, before we get into today's show, I would just like to ask everybody, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please stop what you're doing right now and click that little subscribe button. If you love Taylor Swift, if you love pop culture, this is the channel for you. So please subscribe. It would mean so much to us, and we greatly appreciate it. Now we can get into the show. All right, honestly, I'm about to go on a little bit of a rant. Rant might be a strong word, but I think we all need to have a little bit of a reality check. We also need to kind of retool or readjust what we feel like we deserve from our celebrities. You're probably like, what are you talking about? I'll explain. So yesterday, there was a photo that I'm sure if you are on social media, particularly Taylor Swift, the Taylor Swift side of social media, there was a photo that came out yesterday of Taylor, what appears to be Taylor and Travis on vacation. Very popular gossip social media site, Dumois posted it. Uh, I saw it on their Instagram channel. I'm sure many of you saw it as well. It was a very grainy photo from kind of far away. It looked like it, they were on some sort of dock. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure you can go and find it on the internet. Um, and this kind of comes amid reports that they were probably going to be going on vacation towards the end of March. I think a lot of people felt like this was definitely a possibility. We don't know exactly where they are, um, but needless to say, while I think there were a lot of people who were happy to see that Taylor and Travis are on vacation enjoying themselves, there were also a lot of people who were upset and kind of frankly bummed out by the fact that somebody invaded their privacy and took this photo and then decided to share it with a Instagram account and a social media account that has so many followers, basically then kind of opening the door for maybe other people where they're vacationing or paparazzi to like find them and take photos of them. And I just think we need to we need to stop invading, I mean, all celebrities' um, personal lives. But I think especially it's one thing for a fan to see a famous person out there take a photo and send it to their friend. I think we've all probably done that to some degree. It's very natural and normal to do that. I think it's a whole other thing, especially when it's something like vacation, when you know that someone's going to be in a specific place for a very long time um, or a considerable amount of time. It's not like they're going out to eat at a restaurant and, and, and then they're going to leave in a couple hours, right? Like that's a different thing. But there's a good chance that Taylor and Travis went to this specific place on vacation because they wanted privacy and they wanted to be left alone. And now all of a sudden somebody is basically outed their location and where they are, which now I'm sure people will figure out where they are, where they're staying. I mean, these people can figure out a lot. They should work for the FBI, honestly. Um, and then their privacy, you know, they may not have any privacy for the rest of their vacation and their time together. So while I understand the desire to like, obviously Taylor and Travis, the biggest celebrities out there right now in terms of like news, there's nobody hotter than those two, maybe Kate Middleton, but that's basically it. Um, and so it's natural that people would want to share that information. But also I think, and I loved, I loved to see how many Taylor Swift fans were like, I'm not going to be sharing this photo. Taylor Swift specific accounts were like, we're not going to repost it. We're not going to share it because they clearly are going to this place for privacy. They want to be left alone. So we're going to leave it, leave them alone. So I respect all you Swifties out there who did that. Um, and I really hope we don't get any more information about their vacation. I really hope that they get to just relax and recharge and be by themselves and just hang out and not have people like trying to hunt them down, figure out where they are, because I can only imagine how stressful that would be. And just exhausting. Like I would never want to go on a vacation where I knew that people like, I don't know, hundred yards away were trying to take a photograph of me to sell to some magazine or major social media account or something like could never be me. But the good news is Taylor and Travis are very happy. We also got an article yesterday from People, which was kind of, they didn't really reveal anything new, but People tends to be pretty accurate in their Taylor and Travis reporting. I've said this before, I, I really feel like 
people and, and entertainment tonight get a lot of their sources um, and information from inside the Taylor camp specifically. So I tend to trust them when it comes to Taylor Travis news. Um, but they reported that Taylor and Travis are quote, still very happy, enjoying their time off. In this article, it basically it said that they were still in Los Angeles, though now we obviously know that's not true. Um, but the, they said, quote, they're spending time in Los Angeles together. They're so cute together, um, which they were spending time in Los Angeles. They were in LA for like a week or something, a little over a week together. Um, but now they're somewhere else. We don't know where, um, enjoying their time off. And as we said before, like, it's going to be a busy next, I don't know, four or five weeks for Taylor Swift specifically with her album and everything. So I think she's recharging her batteries, you know, gearing up for what's to come. And I'm just so excited to um, to get this new music and like this new era of Taylor Swift. There were also a lot of rumors that she was in Los Angeles this past week because she was filming a music video or two for her new album. Obviously, we won't know that until the album comes out, probably, because I don't think she's going to be putting out any singles or anything before the album comes out. Um, but obviously, looking forward to new music video, all that kind of stuff. It is interesting now, like with Taylor Swift, um, the last couple albums, well, really the last, like I think since Lover, she hasn't put out a single prior to the album coming out, which I think is kind of, I mean, that's definitely unique. Typically an artist will put out like one or two singles as like kind of promo before the album drops. Now, obviously Taylor Swift doesn't need promo. She can drop an album whenever she wants and it's going to do fantastic. But I always find it interesting what songs artists pick to kind of like preview the album. Cause I feel like sometimes it either tells you exactly what you're going to get or it doesn't at all. And Taylor has had kind of like a up and down track record in terms of the first single that she picks for her albums. Like sometimes she picks amazing. Like I think shake it off is actually a really good first single, it like sets the tone for that album. But I think we all can agree that me was not a very good single that she put out when she put out Lover. Um, so she probably is like, I'm not the best at picking first singles. So the first time you're going to hear this album is when it comes out and just enjoy it then, which I can respect. Um, all right, guys, I think that's it for today's show. Again, please subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.